What's going on everyone? I'm Saba and thanks for tuning in to my channel, Savoring with Saba. I am so excited about today's recipe because pizza is my favorite food, but it's not always the healthiest option. So I'm going to be sharing one of my favorite pizza alternatives, pizza casserole. So let's get started. The ingredients we'll need for today's recipe are cauliflower, olive oil, sea salt, pepper, marinara sauce, mozzarella cheese, pepperoni slices, and Italian seasoning. Well guys, I have my friend Chanasa with me. Chanasa, say hi. Hello. You look nervous. I am kind of nervous. <laughs> Don't be nervous. Nervous, good nervous. Good nervous. Now, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I am the queen of my kitchen, so inviting someone to help me and assist me is a bit of a challenge, but I'm here for it. Chanasa, I know that you may or may not like to cook, but you're gonna be helping me with our pizza casserole. Are you excited? I am very excited. Now, are you excited? I'm ready to light everything on fire. Oh, we're not, <laughs> we're not, we're not, gonna, do we're not gonna do that. No, I don't have the insurance for that. Okay, so first things first, I wanna know your skills. What am I working with today? Sure. So I'm gonna give you three descriptions. Okay. Use run to describe your cooking skills. Okay. One, are you a kitchen queen, okay? So basically you're saying, Saba, back up, I got this, mm -hmm. I'm in control of the situation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Two, are you kitchen savvy where you okay. may not be an expert, but you know your way around the kitchen? Mm -hmm. Or three, are you kitchen challenged? Mm -hmm. You don't know how to cook, you avoid the kitchen, mm -hmm. you're not here for the kitchen, and it's a bad situation when you're in it. Okay, I am a kitchen queen. No, that's not <laughs> I'm actually a queen. I'm actually kitchen challenged. Um, but let's not say challenge. I know we're going with the term challenge, but I like to say that, you know, it doesn't come natural to me. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> but you know what? This is why I love having you here because this is an easy, foolproof recipe and it's just one dish. Okay. So you don't have to waste too much time in the kitchen. How about that? Okay. Are you ready? Struggle is here and it. she's ready. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. All right. So first things first, we're going to preheat our ovens to 425 degrees. And now let's get ready to make the actual casserole. We have our dish. So Shanasa, what I want you to do next is take the olive oil. Got it. And your spoon. Got it. And you want to just spread that olive oil across the base of the dish. Okay. Perfect. Look at that. I know, right? And then just get the other. You know, okay. Scoop it out. There get we that. go. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Awesome. And then we're spreading it with the spoon. Spread it. Awesome. awesome. I mean, I know how to do that. I think. I'm strong. For what? those of you, like, okay. okay. All right. So, All right, putting things down. Now oh, we are going to take the star of the recipe, which is our cauliflower. Oh, yum. I love cauliflower. How about you, Chanasa? I do like cauliflower. Good. It's very nice. Okay, guys, I'm not going to lie. Prior to my transition to a carb conscious lifestyle, I was not here for vegetables. I rarely ate them. They didn't know me. I didn't know them. But after my transition, I had to incorporate healthier options and I fell in love with cauliflower. It's so easy to use. It's versatile. I mean, I use it from casseroles to mac and cheese to faux potatoes and it's just a dream. And I also love the fact that it holds your flavor from anything that you use in your recipe. From your marinara sauces to your spices, it holds and retains that flavor and makes your dish pop. And then we're gonna pour it we're in. Gonna just dump, just yes, just dump it all in. There okay. we go. See, that's Perfect. easy. See? This is not, it's not that. I'm so proud you can of totally you. do this at home. Okay. And what I like to do is just stack all the things that I'm not using. Just the, you, you know what? That's smart. Keeping things clean in the kitchen. Yes. Okay, so now the fun part. Got it. We're gonna take our seasonings, you're gonna do the salt, and I'm gonna take the pepper. Okay. And right. you're just going to... I totally know how to open this. Okay. Don't worry, you guys. Are you sure? You can be kitchen challenged. <laughs> you know how to open things. Yes! Fantastic. That's a win, okay? That is a win. <laughs> just go ahead and, and grind all this stuff. Okay. Seasoning is important. Please don't be afraid of flavor. Flavor is your friend. <laughs> Okay. I think that's that's, that's good, good enough. I'm gonna add a little okay. more black pepper. Okay. I'm gonna add a little more salt because you know you don't want to be unseasoned Please. in life and in everything. Unseasoned. <laughs> there are unseasoned people in the world. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. I just buy these um, because I like to grind my pepper. Like it looks so official. That's why yeah. I, I bought these. Okay. So the next step is we're gonna take our spoon or whatever okay. utensil you're gonna use. And you really wanna mix the olive oil, the cauliflower, and mm -hmm. the spices that we just put on them. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. Okay. Perfect. And you see how we have some of the spices on the dish? That's perfect too because both sides of the cauliflower will be seasoned. 
I will say this. I like to see my seasoning on the food. Mm -hmm. Like clearly, Same. you know, if you zoom in, that this it's is seasoned. There. It's so there. that's important. Again, seasoned. <laughs> Thanks, this looks good. I'm excited. This looks really good. So put this over here. So we can put the spoons in the mixing dishes. Okay, Thank you. Cool. And then I'm just gonna arrange them, the cauliflower, across the base of this dish. Awesome. All right. You're doing easy. Thank you. So the next step is to just roast your cauliflower for 25 minutes. Now, Tanasa and I have been friends for a long time. We met in college, we and we have a lot of stories together. We won't tell you how many years, because yes. that would show our age. Yes, we're, we're young. We're still young. So young. But we have a not lot of- Not a wrinkle of, in sight. Not a wrinkle, black no crack. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a lot of stories, and we have a lot of memories, and she has decided that she will participate in a game I like to call Stroll Down Memory Lane. I have no idea what's happening, but Yay. Yay. Okay. So I'm going to ask us a couple questions. We're awesome. going to write our own. Don't cheat. You can't look at my stuff. <laughs> but we're, we're going to write down our answers and then we're okay. going to share them when we're done. You ready? All right. I'm ready. Okay. Let's go. What is the, what was the first memory you had of me? Oh, this is easy. I tell you all the time. <laughs> Should I not turn? Hold on. I'm not ready yet. Hold on. I'm going to hide. Maybe I'll, I shouldn't show the audience. Hold on. Let me actually Google this. She's wearing right. pretty lundy over there. I That's think concerning. I'm like, there we go. Okay, I just want to make sure terrifying. it was right. I, I don't double know what she's check. Writing. Spell check. Okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, okay on the count of three. One, two, three. Okay. What did you write? <laughs> I did Chick Fil A, <laughs> and then no, I did Chick Fil A, and then I did chicken. Yum. And then I drew a chicken. An actual chicken sandwich, <laughs> and then I said we black. So you know what? that just okay. sums up all of the things. Let me let's let me give a backstory for you. So we yes. met in college, like yes. I said before, and um, we yeah. had a government and politics class. We were both government and politics majors back in college, mm. and um, there weren't a lot of minorities in that actual major. So whenever we saw other minorities, like we were really cool, right. we formed a, a good relationship. So there was this one class, this big lecture, and I had to grab lunch in between my my classes, right? So I would go to the Stamp Student Union and I would go to Chick Fil A because it was quick, it was tasty, and it was on my way There's to nothing tidings. Nothing wrong with that chicken. It was exactly. It was on my way to tidings, and every <laughs> every day. I would have Chick-fil-A for lunch. And I had this process where I would sit in the third row, right? Right in front of the class. And I would have two seats reserved. One seat for, you know, I would sit in it, I would take notes, and the other seat was for my bag and my Chick-fil-A. <laughs> and I would spread the Chick-fil-A on top. <laughs> on this top. is like so, that's what I said. We black. I mean, there is no other way to describe I would spread the Chick-fil-A on moment. the second desk. And while I'm typing and taking notes, I would reach over, get my fries, and then, you know. Dip. She would be every... dipping and sipping and chewing, and the professor is literally trying to teach us. And I'm just like, wow, that is and a very, I would come very late interesting to, person. Sometimes I would come late to class, and those two seats sometimes. were still. Don't do that. Don't do that. Those seats would still be open because the class knew those were my seats. So shout out to that class. So they never, they they never did. took my shout, And shout out, you know, we're not sponsored here, but if you do want to sponsor my girl, Chick-fil-A, you're awesome. Yes. Because um, that was pretty I dope. used to love Chick-fil-A. <laughs> and I said, she you called me together. out. She called me out on the Chick-fil-A. So not that class, but we had another class. Um, and she was, we had a mutual friend, Brandon, who yes. was like, oh, you should meet Chinasa, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, oh, Saba, the girl with the Chick-fil-A. I was like, you know what? Aren't you observant? What was your first impression of me? Mm. Oh, this is going to be easy. Okay. Okay. Hold on, no, I'm like yeah. thinking. <laughs> this should be easy for you too. I was amazing, wonderful, the best person she ever met in her whole life. Why are you writing a paragraph? <laughs> you told me to write. She's now dictating my results. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three. I was shady. <laughs> you were so shady. You were like, the girl with 
chocolate Chick Fil A every day. I was like, oh, I do not actually. Oh. So I, I will say this. I, I don't call it shade, but I do have to say it's just being truthful. You're being honest. You know, shadiness is just honesty in a really blunt way. More people should she be was honest. Shady. What did you um, say? I said actually, my first impression of the interview was funny because <laughs> I thought it was hilarious that this is there are but five black people in this class and this other black woman just keeps coming in here with chicken. <laughs> so she's owning her blackness. And then very put together because I always Aww. think Sal is one of my best put together friends. She's Aww. always beautiful and kind and sweet. So I She's just trying to be nice her. because I called her out. That's what that was. No, Honesty. thank you. <laughs> okay, last question. Last yes, question. We're gonna round out this this qu this yeah. game. This is great. What is your favorite personality trait of mine and what's I'm gonna answer the same question. What's my favorite characteristic of me? Oh, that this is sweet. Okay. I feel like time. you're eyeing me or something. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, count three. One, two, three. Boom. Aww, kind of. Yeah. I said strength. Oh. Because you're so very sweet. strong, even though you sometimes you don't recognize it. And yes, I'm the sweetest person that you'll ever meet. <laughs> <laughs> I totally agree with that. Yes. Okay. Well, that was it for yeah, this is a really stroll sweet. through memory. Yeah, thank, thank you, you guys. Chikasa. This is awesome. So let's grab our cauliflower because it's ready. Okay, so our cauliflower is finished roasting. Look at it, it looks so good. It smells really good too. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Let's back up a little bit. <laughs> I'm excited, the hunger came up. So we're, we see the seasonings, they look really nice. They're yeah. kind of brown around the edges, that's perfect. Okay. Now we're gonna put our marinara sauce on top of the cauliflower. So Janasa, I'll let you do the honors. Ooh. Here's the jar spatula, oh, no, let me shake this up. I love sauce, I'm a sauce queen. And I'm gonna be generous with this. Do you need a little help up? I got this. You know? I would say I have the muscle power, but we all know that's a lie. Oh. Okay. There we go. There Hot. we go. Okay. So just pour all of it in. Again, I love a lot of sauce, so I'm gonna be really generous with this. Awesome. Dump it in there. Perfect. Ooh. You wanna hold it? Yeah. It'll be easier for you. Yeah. Do this. A little See? kitchen challenge self. <laughs> kitchen Anything what? is possible, folks. Okay. All right. I think that's everything, right? Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. So spread it. Oh, no, no. We're going to spread it on top of the top. Okay. Yeah. See? It's like the expert. No, I'm going to give it back to you. Oh. I just wanted to show you what, you know. There you go. <laughs> it's important to learn. <laughs> you learn as you go. <laughs> Oh man. Oh gosh. Okay. Okay. It's good though. You're doing really well. Thank you. She's trying. She's really trying. Thank you. A for effort. Yes. It's better than the grade I got. In you this know class. the story. In this <laughs> class. Okay. So I'm gonna just put a little more. Get in there and get your hands in there. Get messy yeah. Don't be there. afraid to get dirty. I mean, yeah. that's what the kitchen is for. Yeah. Okay. So it's nicely spread across our cauliflower. Now one of my favorite parts, I love melted cheese, like the ooey gooeyness of it all. Mm. So I'm also going to be generous with some um, cheese. Tanasa, feel free to help me. Our hands are clean. Oh yes. So we're just going to sprinkle that across a bit. the cauliflower. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I want a lot. Oh, a lot of cheese. I'm sorry. I like a lot of cheese. It has to be ooey. So growing up, my parents used to... Um, rhyme to us when we were like about to eat during mealtime and they used to say ooey gooey nice and chewy <laughs> isn't that cute it's corny oh and cute. man so it's gonna be ooey gooey nice and chewy i just want all of you to know that this is why i keep her around <laughs> for this moment right here ooey gooey <laughs> hashtag ooey gooey, ooey gooey yes <laughs> Hashtag ooey gooey. Okay, I'm just gonna use the whole just thing. Just use the whole thing. You yeah. might as well. It's done. Let's see where we get. There we go. Yeah. So, Shanasa, grab the Italian seasoning. Awesome. And then just, again, grind that on top of the, the yeah. cheese. Oh, there we go. Is it coming up? Yeah. There we go. Okay. Gotta put your arms into this. No. Okay. <laughs> just, just get it. I will not be defeated by this contraption. Need help? You, you know, I like to think that I've got this. Okay. 
It's important for others the... to be inspired. There we go. Yeah. You're almost there. You're almost there. <laughs> You know, it's okay. You did a good job. You know, thank you. And this in life is what happens in the kitchen on a daily basis. My battle with seasons. So, so now, real, guys. Now we're gonna put our topping on. I love a good classic pepperoni pizza, but you can do this with any topping. I've done this for friends before where we've used peppers and chicken. Um, Shanasa, what's your favorite topping? So I am, I love bacon. I love yes. pepperoni. I'm yes. definitely into the meats um, in moderation. Uh, definitely like onions, green peppers. Those are like my favorite sort of veggie meats. And let me know what your favorite toppings are in the comments below. Okay, so let's go ahead and just place our pepperoni, you can help me, Perfect. on top of our dish. And I wanna do three. Three, yeah. yeah, just like that. And we have room for one extra row. So now we're gonna put our dish right back in the oven for 10 minutes to let it finish cooking. And our casserole is finished. Are you ready to eat, Chanasa? I'm very ready. All right, so let us dig in. I'm going to I'll let serve the chef us. do the honors. Yes, Please. bring your plate. Oh, okay. Ooh, look at the steak. It is very ooey gooey. Ooey gooey. It is very ooey gooey. I'm gonna be saying that all day now. Oh my god, yeah. hashtag it, guys. Okay, okay. I'm gonna take a little bit. Yeah, go for it. This is your dish, so you better go for it. Okay. You need help. Oh my yeah. gosh, I love melted cheese. Look at the cheese. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Oh. There we go. Awesome. I hear you, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, let's dig in. Okay. Tell me what you think. I will. It is steaming hot. It's red hot. Mm-hmm. It's very good. I also feel like it's like light enough to have at dinner, you know, coming home. And it's it's quick, it's easy. It's definitely something I can have if I'm like coming in late in the office, which is really nice. Thank you, friend. You're welcome. This was quite delicious. And the seasoning of the cauliflower. You can still taste the pepper on it, right? Seasoned. 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 <laughs> <laughs> For the full recipe, be sure to go to my website, savoringwithsava.com. Again, it's savoringwithsava.com. And if you do recreate this dish, I would love to see your posts. So tag me on Instagram and Facebook at Sava Savers. And until next time, everyone, happy savoring. Yeah. Mm -hmm.